Hello everyone, Richard here. Just got back in and it's getting late in the day but a great awesome delivery turned up today from Joe Prusha and I'm really excited to get this one. This is the MK2, the original MK2 of the i3. So it came in a rather large box and I haven't got actually any room in here to do it so I thought I'd do it outside. I haven't got much light but I'm really excited to get it unboxed and unpacked and show you what it looks like. So we're going to take knife and maybe some scissors and go outside and go and open it up. Come with me. Okay, so it was raining outside. I don't get a chance to do the unboxing and show you the printer outside, which have been nice, but it was getting quite late. So it's now next morning and I've got a little bit of space set up so we can do the unboxing and talk a little bit about the Prusa i3. Now, Joe sent me the, this printer kit um, just yesterday, so I just got it and I wanted to talk it through with you uh, as we unbox and talk a little bit more about the printer. Okay, so this is the assembled, tested and calibrated Prusa i3. Comes in a nice sturdy box for shipment. Again, this has travelled from Prague to UK and doesn't have any signs of damage. There's a couple of little indents in the box, but it looks pretty good to me. So we're just going to open it up. Okay, so we've got the same thank you and packing checklist. 3D printing handbook, which is always good. Some sweets. What else are you going to do when you're 3D printing? Really good. And looks like a sheet. Ah, spare, spare PEI sheet. This is this goes on the bill plate, and PEI is a really great material for bill plate. So, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. So, the one thing that's really clear is that we've got some nice packaging, and oops, check sheet. We've got some expanded polypropylene, and that's used in computer packaging, so that's really good. Very impact resistant, great for this sort of thing. And the printer's just sat in the box, which is great. I'll tip it up to show you. So that's what it looks like. Nice and easy. We have some filament to get you started with. The one kilogram rolls, these are Joe's own uh, make of 3D printing filament. I bought quite a bit of different materials from him. ABS, the Easy ABS is very nice. This is PLA and it's one of my favourite colours. It's the nice cream colour. So really like that one. 1.75 millimeter. So I should enjoy using that. We have a little test checklist that they do with every printer they manufacture. So you get all of the statistics of the, of the printer settings. Uh, how well it performed in the test, just so you know it's been fully tested, checked and calibrated before it's sent out. We've also got another box which is going to be our bits and bobs we're going to need to use and run the printer. Prusa Research. And finally, a 3D printer. Okay, so there's nothing else in the box, we'll put that one down. And here we have it. The Prusa i3 Mark II 3D printer, fully assembled, built, tested, the original. Oh, and it's actually got some labels on, which is what I was going to check for. So we've got a little label on the back here with a C mark, so that's really good news. And proudly made in Prague. Yeah, it's very cool. So this printer, I've had a Prusa i3 printer for quite some time. I built it up from a frame that Joe sent me, blue, beautiful blue powder coated frame that he sent me and I actually used that build as the uh, experimental printer in the 3D printing for Daniel's book. So if you've ever got hold or read my book you'll see that actually in there is the original i3 with Joe's frame and all of the kit that was sent through. So that was really cool so I really enjoyed making that up and there's an explanation in here about how to do that. Obviously this is the Mark II, so it has some improvements over the original design. And uh, we've now, around the side here, we've got Rambo Electronics from Ultimachine in the US. So that's really nice. They're all fully enclosed. 
uh, and Joe actually sources these from directly from Alta Machine, so it's nice that that's actually supporting the RepRap community, uh, and these are genuine parts. The other genuine part, well it's all genuine, but the other genuine part we've got on the hot end is an, a full E3D V6, not the V6 Lite, so we've got a full E3D V6, so we can print pretty much any material we like, which is great, and the motors, I've actually seen the motors are actually branded up as Prusa Research as well, so that's really nice. I'll have to check out where where they're coming from, but they're very nice little motors. And we've got a few things to remove, all the little green parts you have to remove, and uh, then you can actually get printing with it. So it's pretty much ready to go. The build platform itself is slightly larger than on the original uh, Mark One. Or, um, yeah, so we've got, and also a PEI uh, bed on there as well, which means that you can print lots of different materials on. In fact, the only material I found difficult to print on the PEI bed was wood fill materials, and they were really fused to the PEI. So I'm going to see how well it works with this sheet, because I was using quite thick sheets of PEI, which is very expensive. So this is a much better way to do it, having a thin laminated sheet. And it is 3M, so I think we might be might be okay with that one. So we'll see how well we go on with wood fills, but I won't do that straight away, just in case it does damage the bed, because uh, I have had some issues with that. So we've got power on the side here, which is great, and everything looks pretty much enclosed. No real issues there at all. So we've got a few things to remove before we can start printing. Everything's lovely black powder coated. Very nice, very nice indeed. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I will get this one up print some things and uh, show you how it goes.